Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Handy's channel. For today's tutorial, we will discuss about trapezoid and its properties. Along this topic, we will have isosceles trapezoid and the median of the trapezoid. First, let us define what is a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Take a look at this figure. So this one is an example of a trapezoid. Here are the following properties of trapezoid. First, the parallel sides of a trapezoid are called faces. So in our figure, the parallel sides are the side BC and the side AD. And they are the bases of this trapezoid. Second, the non-parallel sides are called the legs. So it means that the non-parallel sides here are the side BA and CD. And they are the legs of this trapezoid. And the last property is the pairs of angles formed by a base and the legs are called the base angles. So we have here two pairs of base angles. The first one is the lower base angle. So we have here angle BAD and angle CD. A, those are the lower base angles. Well, the upper base angles are the angles are the angles ABC and angles DCB. So here are the base, the legs, and the base angles of this given trapezoid. So aside from trapezoid, we have here isosceles trapezoid. Isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid whose legs are congruent. So here is an example of isosceles trapezoid. If you notice in our figure, we have here a pair of legs which are congruent to one another. So here are the properties of the trapezoid. First, legs are congruent. So as defined here, isosceles trapezoid has legs which are congruent. So from our figure, we can say that side RQ is congruent to side ST, since they are the legs of our isosceles second. Base angles are congruent. So we have here two pairs of base angles, the upper and the lower base angles. And from the properties of isosceles, we can say that angle RQT is congruent to angle STQ, since they are the lower base angles of our figure. And angle QRS is congruent to angle TSR since they are the upper base angles of our figure. And third, diagonals are congruent. So let us draw diagonal QS and diagonal TR. And since we have here these diagonals, we can say that QS is congruent to TR as stated in the properties of isosceles trapezoid. Last, all properties of a trapezoid. So remember, the trapezoid has bases, legs, and base angles. So those properties is also included in isosceles trapezoid. So let us have this activity. A, B, C, D is an isosceles trapezoid. So let us answer the following. Name the legs of trapezoid A, B, C, D. So the legs of these trapezoids are side AB and side CD. This time, let us name the bases of trapezoid ABCD. So the bases of this isosceles trapezoid are the side BC and the side AD. Third, let us name the two pairs of base angles. So let us have first the lower base angle. So we have angle BAD and angle CDA. For the upper base angles, we have angle ABC and angle DCB. And these are the pairs of base angles. Number four, let us name the diagonals. And the diagonals of this isosceles trapezoid are diagonal AC and diagonal BD. Let us have the fifth one. If side AB is equal to 10, then... Side BC is equal to 10 as well. Since in isosceles, the legs are congruent. Next, let us have 
number 6. If AC is equal to 15, then BD is equal to 15 as well. Since we know that the diagonals of isosceles trapezoids are congruent. Number 7. If angle BAD, so this one, is equal to 75 degrees, then angle CDA is equal to blank. So they are looking for the measures of angle CDA. And since we know that they are base angles, then they are congruent. If BAD is equal to 75 degrees, then angle CDA is equal to 75 degrees as well. Let us have the eighth one. If angle ABC, so this one, is equal to 105 degrees, then angle DCB, this one, is equal to what? Since they are the upper base angles, then we can say that angle DCB is equal to 105 degrees as well, since they are congruent. So, DCB is equal to 105 degrees. Let us have the ninth one. What is the sum of the measure of angle BAD and BCB? Since we know that angle BAD is equal to 75 degrees and angle DCB is equal to 105 degrees, then if you get the sum of 75 plus 105, then that one will be equal to 180 degrees. So that is the sum of angle BAD and BCB. For our last question, angle CDA is equal to 82 degrees then DCB is equal to black. They are referring to this side. Angle CDA, which is equal to 82 degrees, and angle BCB, which is the missing value. Remember that the measure of angle CDA plus measure of angle BCB is equal to 180 degrees. So since given here that angle CDA is, is equal to 82 degrees, then 82 degrees plus angle BCD should be equal to 180 degrees. Then we have here the measure of angle BCD should be equal to the difference of 180 and 82. Therefore, the measure of angle BCD is equal to 92 degrees. So let us now move on with the median of a trapezoid. When we say median of a trapezoid, it is a segment which joins the midpoints of the legs. And it is parallel to the bases and has length equal to one half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So let us have this figure. So if you notice, we have here P as the midpoint of side AD. P divides AD into two congruent parts. Same as the other side Q is the midpoints of side BC in which it divides BC into two congruent parts as well. And this line is what we call the median of the trapezoid. And it says that the median should be parallel to the basis which is true by observation. PQ is parallel to AB and PQ is parallel to DC as well, which are the bases of our trapezoid. And last, the measure of the median is one half the sum of the lengths of the bases. Thus, PQ is equal to one half of the sum of side AB and side DC. So let us have these exercises. Please test yourself. Number one. Find the length of the median of each trapezoid. So from here, the median is QP. Let us find the measure of QP given that the bases are WZ and XY. Since we know that the measure of the median QP is equal to the half of the sum of the bases here, 
then we have QP is equal to the side WZ plus XY divided by 2. And WC and XY is equal to 34 and 22. Therefore, we have here QP is equal to 34 plus 22 divided by 2. And that one is equal to 56 divided by 2. Therefore, QP is equal to 28. And that is the measure of the median QP. Let us have example number 2. I have here trapezoid MLKN. Let us find the measure of the median ED. Same as what we did in number 1, the value of our median ED is equal to the half of the sum of the bases here ML and NK. Let us now substitute the value of ML and NK. Therefore, we will have 21 plus 41 divided by 2. Therefore, the median ED is equal to 62 divided by 2. And that one is equal to 31. And that is the measure of the median ED. Let us have the third one. Let us find the value of BW which is equal to the half of the sum of QR and PS. Let us substitute the value of QR and PS here. Therefore, we have 11.3 plus 13.9 divided by 2. And that one is equal to 25.2 divided by 2. Therefore, the measure of VW or the median of this trapezoid is equal to 12.6. And that is... The answer. So let us try more exercises. Let us dig deeper. Find the length of the base indicated for each trapezoid. So for our first example, we are asked to find the measure of side FE, which is equal to x plus 13. So to find the value of this one, let us find first the value of x. That will be substituted to this expression to find the value of FE. So let us find the value of x using this equation. Since we know that the median 3x plus 21 is equal to the half measure of the sum of dg and fe. Therefore, we have 29 for the value of dg plus x plus 13 for the value of fe. Let us multiply both sides by 2. So 1 half will be equal to 1. Therefore, we have 2 times 3x plus 21 is equal to x plus 42. I already add 29 from 13. That's why we obtain 42 here. So this one will be equal to 6x plus 42, which is equal to x plus 42. Using addition property of equality, or simply transpose x to the left side of our equation and 42 to the right side of our equation, we will have 6x minus x is equal to 42 minus 42. Therefore, we will obtain 5x is equal to 0. Let us isolate x here by dividing both sides by 5. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 0. Remember that we are asked for the measure of Fe. Since we know that Fe is equal to x plus 13, therefore we have Fe is equal to x plus 13. Let us substitute 0 from our expression. Therefore, we have Fe is equal to 0 plus 13. Therefore, the measure of Fe is equal to 13. Let us have our last example. Let us find the measure of BE if that is equal to 12x minus 3. So again, we need to solve first for the value of x in which... 13x plus 5, which is our median, is equal to the half measure of the sum of PE and CF, which is 12x minus 3 from DE plus 41 from CF. Let us multiply both sides by 2 so that 1 half here will be equal to 1. So we have 2 times quantity 13x plus 5 is equal to 12x plus 38. I already subtracted 3 from 41. That's why we obtain here 38. By distributive property, we will obtain 26x plus 10 is equal to 12x plus 38. So again, let us use addition property of equality. 
are simply transposed 12x to the left side of our equation and 10 to, and 10 to the right side of our equation. Therefore, we will have 26x minus 12x is equal to 38 minus 10. And that one is equal to 14x which is equal to 28. Therefore, to isolate x here, let us divide both sides by 14. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 2. Now, we know that x is equal to 2. Let us now find the measure of b, which is equal to 12x minus 3. Let us substitute the value of x here. Therefore, we will have b, which is equal to 12 times 2 for the value of x minus 3. 12 times 2 minus 3 is equal to 21. And that is the measure of side B. So we know now the different properties of trapezoid, properties of isosceles trapezoid, and how we will use the median of a trapezoid in solving some mathematical problems. So that's the end of our video. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. Bye!